Now then guys, my name is Mythicality Cosplay and welcome back to Bendy and the- Wait a minute. This isn't Joey Drew Studios. Ex-colleague brought back via a letter to a factory they used to work in that has now been abandoned. Sounds like Bendy. Big demony monster looking thing that chases you down that you can't fight all tall, lanky, lean ass mother- Yep. Sounds like Bendy. Sorry, Bendy, I do love you. Sadistic ass boss? Sounds like Bendy, but is not. But anyway, I'm just playing around. Honestly, I think this game looks freaking awesome from what I've seen of it. I'm really, really excited to give this a shot and see what it's like. Uh, first off, just a quick word from my sponsor. If you want to be the next Joey Drew, William Afton, or Lath Pierre, and start your own evil factory full of murderous robots, then Skillshare is the website for you. An online learning community, Skillshare has thousands of inspiring classes for the creative and curious. Whether you're looking to learn something completely new, or polish existing skills, you're sure to find the right fit for you. There's website design, public speaking, modeling, and you guessed it, even cosplay. Want to craft your own armor or learn how to sew? You're in the right place. There's even 3D printing if you want to get all fancy like. Skillshare classes combine video lessons and class projects, meaning you can fit them around your schedule if you're like me and have a thousand things happening at once. This is one I really want to try out. YouTube success, script, shoot and edit with Marcus Brownlee. Maybe it'll help me hit that 100k. If you're looking to start your own Let's Play channel, it'd be really useful. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will snatch up a free month-long trial of Skillshare Premium. This is a limited time offer, so make sure you get in there fast. Thank you, Skillshare, for sponsoring today's episode. Before we get into this, I have a cold, so if I sound a bit rough, then you know why? It's not the plague, I promise you, it is just a cold. Also, <laughs> one last thing that I want to mention is I am not a, like, a uh, PC gamer at all. I am used to playing with a console control. I don't know what type of thing is, but so if I really suck at using just like mouse and keyboard, then I'm learning. It's a learning process. Chapter one: A tight squeeze. As an ex-employee of Playtime Co. <coughs> Joey Drew Studios, you finally return to the factory many years after everybody within has disappeared. Does that that not sound familiar to you? Yes, yes, new game. Don't look at me like that, Huggy Wuggy. I do not want a Huggy Wuggy from you. I love the, like, 1960s this. The most incredible doll ever invented. Her name is Poppy, and she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. A little girl can talk to her, Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard to believe? Just watch. Never had a Furby? Poppy Playtime! Poppy's as lovable as a real girl, and she talks like one, too. Hi, my name is Poppy. I love you. Can you help me polish my shoes? No. Why, of course, Poppy. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect! Thank you! Her hair is sturdy and won't come out when you brush it. And smells just like a poppy flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a real girl. Just like you. What's the time? Playtime! I love that. If you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours at just $2.99 a person. An entire hour in the most magical toy factory on Earth. What are you waiting for? Come visit the factory. We can... Okay. I don't think that's meant to be in your uh, instructional video, Joey. Jo I mean... Lath, what's it? Puppy playtime! Hey. Genuinely terrifying. Everyone thinks the staff disappeared ten years ago. We're still here. Find the flower. Vintage poppy commercial. I love, again, it's kind of like, meant to be like 1980s, 1960s, I don't know what. The commercial looks very 60s-y. 
But then, obviously, VHS tapes and things are more of the 80s. Oh, whoa, sensitivity go. Is this meant to be, like, in the 90s, 80s? It looks pretty modern. Well, apart from this, like, piece of shit old ancient computer. I don't know. Again, very 90s-esque. Oh. Boop. Hi. My name is Leif Pierre. Leif and Pierre, I'm the that's it. Here at the place <coughs> Joey Drew. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. Mm -hmm. For example, this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, We'll turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. And that's one of the more tame aspects of our security system. No spoilers. So, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. I don't even know what I'm doing. I really don't know. I would not be in this dead-ass factory in the middle of the night. I would like to leave. I'm going to take your example. Bye. Can I go? Can I go? I guess not. E to open doors. Poof, just bust in. Hello, kitty. Do not demonetize me for saying that, please. What's that freaking noise? Oh. Boogie bot. Yeah, this must be... I've only been, like, closed in the... Like, this, like Boogie bot looks like it would be in, like, 2000s toy. So even though Poppy... Candy Cat. Yeah, look, that's not like a 60s, 80s -y thing, so even though Poppy and probably Huggy were made in like the 60s or whatever, oh, some shit happened here. Uh, the rest of it looks like it was kind of shut down in the like Nickelodeon era 2000s or whatever. Poppy wants to play! I don't want to play with you. Staff only. Well, I'm staff, apparently. Ron, do you know the answer? It looks like something bust out of these. And I don't like that. Um, oh, the train. Green, pink, yellow, red. 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 Green, pink, yellow. Hey! Shouldn't I remember that? Like, if I apparently used to work here? How long ago did I work here? Ooh! Hello, hello! Is this FNAF suddenly? Don't even get me started on the similar similarities with uh, this and FNAF. Ooh, tape! Oh. Ooh, what's that? Oh, it's the hands! <coughs> Scusi! A grab pack. Tighten the straps. Like a pro. <laughs> Mine just went flap, 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 flap. Hold both cannons. <laughs> pull fire, pull fire to trigger. I need to go out to bed. Pull trigger to fire. Pull again to retract. Hold to grip onto object. Press fire to yeet. Only fire at small objects and handles. Don't tell me what to do. Do not fire at a coworker. <laughs> this may cause injury. Ah, oh, you're just taking all the fun out of shit. Wire is conductive, kids. Use for rewiring. Thank you. Use your grab pack responsibly. Don't tell me what to do. Give me the pack! Why did the tape open that? I don't know, but... Boop! <laughs> oh yeah! So I hold it, and... How do I bring stuff to me? Hold down... Ah, okay. So, boop. Okay, let me just spend a second and used to this. Okay, I think I saw a hand up here. Yeah, can I, like, yeet over this? There we go. High five! I'm sure that was a very original joke that no playthrough YouTuber has done yet. Uh, no. No. Nope. No, no. This is me leaving okay i'm gonna listen to the tape <laughs> why did i decide to play this 
Hi, Huggy. You don't look too bad. You're much bigger than I thought you were gonna be. Who's taller, him or Bendy? Like, big, not this, like, short stack here, like the big demon, demon-esque Bendy. Now is my chance to go whoosh, top of the morning too. <laughs> Edit that, please. Just, like, cut that out. Hookie's looking at me like, you tried, bitch. Bitch. Probably gonna regret this. With a bit of string and polyester, our lovable blue pal, Huggy, was brought to life. Huggy Wuggy has gone on to be Playtime Co.'s most popular and best-selling toy so far. Who's buying this shit? I see. Oh, you're just as what? You're just as bad. No, don't pick it up. Put it down. Oh, he went yeet. Please don't come to life. Please don't follow me around. I know that you do, because I've seen clips of the game already. But please. Blue. Oh. What was when? Ah, oh, screw you. Is that for me? He's just like, <laughs> give. Oh, just give, please. Pretty please. Please, I'll let you hug me. I'll, I'll let you give me a hug. Please. Psych, I lied. This is me going, bye. <laughs> please don't kill me. <laughs> Right, what the hell are you? Okay. <laughs> Grab to divert power, because that's safe. Oh, that's cool. Right. And then there was the conducty things here. Did, did I... How did I go through that? What bullshittery was this? Awesome. Why you lag? Why are you lagging? No. Nope. No, no. This is me saying no. I apologize if this is really laggy. Like, it looks kind of laggy on my screen. Hopefully it's not on the actual, like, thingy. Are they my footsteps? I just did the biggest gulp. <laughs> I don't like it. Well, that's a pretty much a problem. But we're just gonna pretend not and keep on walking. Whoever like I am playing has clearly like seen this shit before. Make a friend! I wish I could, I don't have any friend. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like it. I don't wanna go through that. Let's go here please. Stay away to hell! No! Huggy! Huggy! Are you down here? <laughs> uh, oh. I'm falling for all the worst jump scares. Please don't be behind me. Okay. That's kind of cute though. I can hear plinky plonky music. P -p 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 Poppy! In some thought of fact- Whoa! I don't know my own strength apparently just yeet everything out of the way ah it's the hand okay boop are you blue I think yes why is there a baby head can I grab the baby head oh, I didn't want to actually <laughs> yeet the baby but oh well there's a theme apparently Handle with care, I shall. Okay, I guess I gotta find more of these things. Give it. Give it. Thank you. Ah, I see the tape. Aha. Gotcha. Where is this last freaking... Aha, there you are. Hey, gotcha. Boop. Rich, where are they keeping the huggy boxes? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Remember when maintenance last did a sweep of this place? <laughs> no. Exactly. Nobody in this stupid company knows what they're doing. Oh, I swear, I haven't seen a single box in its place since they started flooding the storehouse with orphanage junk. Right. Orphanage. It's a nice program and all on brand. <sighs> it's just 
hard to be happy about it when manufacturing's on our necks about it, because we can't find stupid hockey boxes! Rich. <sighs> You're right. You're right. It's... It's for the orphans. I just wish there were less boxes. Anything less would be more habitable. Is... Is that even a word? <laughs> habitable? Okay, so I obviously the tapes are like the the tapes that you find in Bendy, but I, I just kept waiting for it to go. I'm out of here or something like that. What did he mean by orphanage? Are the toys going to the orphanage? Because that would be that's kind of nice, I guess, for a heartless corporation and all that. Put the thing in it. <clears throat> Now give me the goods. Yes, give me that tent. It looks like the. Well, that wasn't very helpful. I was gonna say it looks like freaking the uh, infinity glove. High five. Boop. Boop. And boop. <laughs> That's so cool. That is such an awesome dynamic. You look very dead. I don't I don't really want to go in there. The sign says no. Katarl. Alright. Oh no. Whee! Come on. Big wrinkly brain time. I gotta be able to do this. So that's number two. That's number one. And then go down here. Go around the corner and big so meaty freaking wrinkly brain. Whee! I was gonna say big sweaty brain and that's kind of not as sexy. I guess wrinkly brains aren't either but yeah whatever this is going off on a tangent. Whee! Are those eyes? No! No 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 no! Is that? Oh no it's not eyes just a thing. Well, uh, okay. Make a friend. Ah, the make a friend machine. Oh, it's music. All it needs is to be fed the proper parts, and it will then paint, assemble, and do a quality inspection of the toy all on its own. Gone is the need for complex sorting or backbreaking labor. This machine can do all that and more. Might as well be the ink machine. <laughs> Right? You look like faces. Needs power! Okay. Uh. Power? Uh. Woo! Hand! You good there? <laughs> oh no! Did you get stuck? Hand? Uh. I kinda need you back, please. Hand? There. Whoo! That. <laughs> I thought I'd bust the. Ooh, tape! I thought I'd bust the game. So, Stella, what made you want to work at the Playtime Stella! Playtime? Playing with toys when I was young was so magical. I could go straight from my bedroom floor to anywhere in the world. It was such a great feeling. And being able to work at a toy factory, somewhere that can provide kids with that same experience, that's a pretty great feeling too. Sometimes though, I really, really wish I could go back. To being a kid, I mean. Mm. And it's weird, because adults are just kids, but older. I don't think anyone ever really feels like an adult. But your body just gets older and older, and then you die. Poof. <laughs> Human bodies just can't stay young forever. There's things, though, like some trees that can stay alive even while being way older than a person. I mean, the oldest people to ever live are still younger than those. So I guess everyone is always young relative to something. Right? Right. All right, I think we're getting a little off track. Yeah, just a little. I think she needs to seek some help. Is that gonna reach? Hey! Like a freaking boss, okay. What does that do? Oh, power! I forgot that was the whole point! Power on. Power on. 
That was cheap. Nobody leaves without a toy. <laughs> Forcing you to make toys before you can leave work. I like it. That's uh, Joey would be impressed. I guess I gotta make myself a little friend. Did that one? No, it didn't. There we go. Get in there! Yay! Here he comes. So cute. Gift. Okay, so here you go, Mr. Capitalist. You may have it. Is that good enough? Thank you. Ugh, oh, I don't like you. Staff only. Can I go in there? Stairway to hell again, and then it's just. <gasps> what the fuck? What the fucking fuck? No, no. Oh my god, no. No, 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 no. Get me in the thing. Get me in this thing. Oh, am I even going in the thing? Can he come in the. Ah! What the hell is going on? Oh my god. Ah! Oh. He's there. Oh, this is horrid. I don't like this. What's it? <laughs> no! No, 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 no. Oh, my heart is going. Ah! Ah! Fucking no! <laughs> I've seen that clip. So I knew that it was going to happen there. But that does not mean that my heart was not pounding any freaking less. Game developers, I just... I applaud because that is genuinely absolutely terrifying. I'm just going to set these things because my mouse is still just going way too um, sensitive. Okay, mate. Come on then. Ooh. Don't tase me, bro! Run, run, run. Can you please run a little bit faster, friend? I don't even know your name. Do you have a name? There, that's better. He actually stopped and go. Oh my god. I hate this. I hate it! No, no. Okay, 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 okay. I see light. I see light. I see light. Control, go through. Now run. 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 Oh! Well, why am I not able to go anywhere? Ah! Fucking move. Turn back, stop, do not enter. Have I gone the wrong way? Please, why am I going so slowly? Ah! Okay, okay, I know this bit. I know this bit. Grab the box. Grab the motherfucking box. Ah! Have some of that, Huggy. That is genuinely so adrenaline inducing. <laughs> okay. Hopefully that didn't lag as crazy as it did for you. Oh my God, I am shaking. The adrenaline is just crazy. That is, ooh, pretty poppy flower. That is from the tape right at the start. That is genuinely one of the best, like, chase sequences in a horror game that I've played in a very, very long time. Final log in relation. Experiment 1006. The prototype. Coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set, as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. Though still missing, today's events are no doubt in relation to him. His absence was a flaw in the scientific process, which should have under no circumstances been left unaccounted for. That's why I'm making this log, so that the same mistake won't be made twice. Any 
future experiments will need to be contained and disposed of in a secure location. I'm not worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. We must forge onwards in the name of science. Whether those who are beneath us understand it or not, end of... Okay. So who's the prototype? Is it talking about Huggy? I... I'm kind of assuming that all of the toys in here are all like human souls. <coughs> FNF. So does that mean that he was like an experiment? He was one of the first ones, so that would make sense. Oh, you look like my toy and you're all hung up. Oh no, Braun! No, run, danger, no, stop, go back, turn around. Don't tell me what to do. Okay, didn't expect this. Not like in the plinky plonky music. This is like someone's house. Boom! Hi, puppy. This is some Annabelle shit. How long has she been in here? Oh well, puppy. Let's bust you out. Oh, the eyes. You opened my case. Yep. Very well done. Like, genuinely, I think that is one of the best, like, indie horror games that has come out in a very long time. For me, personally, it probably is the best one that's came out since Bendy. It has that kind of, like, very similar feeling to it, but that chase scene with Huggy. Like I said, I have seen clips of it, so I did kind of know what to expect of where to go, but at the same time, it did not stop my heart from pounding. I was just like, run, 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 run. It was so, so good. I really enjoyed that. And I'm very, very excited for the second episode. I don't know when it comes out, but I'm... My first impressions of it is that Poppy is actually going to be a good guy. Maybe? Like, she's maybe going to help guide you through the factory and stuff. I don't know why we would be going in there to, like, save her if that wasn't the case. Um, and why we would, like, open her case. And the fact that she talked to us so, like, you open my case and all this. It's... Is she just going to kill you? She'd just kill you probably straight away. But we shall see. She's like one of those ones where you think she's going to be good and then she ends up being, like, you know, an evil spaghetti robot inside her or whatever, but, you know, we shall see. Awesome. Just 100% recommend that you go and play it for yourself, and I am really looking forward to the second episode. So, take care guys, thank you so much for watching, bye bye!